Mobilmachung verfügte der Sicherheitsrat der Vereinten Nationen soeben die Generalmobilmachung. Vorauskommandos der UNO landeten unterstützt von Luft- und Marineverbänden heute Morgen an den Küsten Portugals und drangen mehrere Kilometer tief in europäisches Gebiet vor. Europe recently attacked our Atlantic Station, which we previously acquired from them through negotiations. This is a painful blow, but won't stop the preparations for Operation Lunar Eclipse, which will soon be finished. This will be the first real battle of this war. Our Secret Service has information on enemy activity in the area. The UNLC High Command will come on staying alert. Mission objective – weaken the enemy. Welcome back to Actor Europa and welcome to the next mission. This mission here is absolutely brutal, especially if you're not prepared. So as you can see, my bank account is actually a little bit more empty than it should have been after the next mission. That's because I actually redid that mission and bought some upgrades for the chain gun and the wheels to strengthen my starting army here. Because otherwise I wasn't able to actually a face off against the enemy here. So we've got rats in the north there. They actually cut off from us. So we can't reach them until we build a bridge. But we don't have a base. There's a submission here where we get some money if we manage to destroy 10 enemy units before we lose any units. So hide your infantry. You don't want those guys to be involved. Otherwise it's gonna fail. And we're gonna stay on this mountain here because we have some forests to protect us even though that's probably gonna go up in flames sooner or later. And we can also I see the enemy a little bit earlier than they see us. And the enemy does actually need line of sight to be able to attack your troops, so they can probably see through the fog of war, but at least the units still need to be able to fulfill the same conditions that that you do to actually attack. So here, I'm just going to hang out for, for a moment here. We're going to wait for that forest there to burn down. That's, that's fine. Not that you can actually do anything about that. But anyway, so the issue here is that you start with an army that's fairly weak because mostly Vehicles that are a combination between the wheel chassis and the chain gun weapon. There we go, fulfilled that sub-objective and or side mission. And the issue is that you don't really have much of a reason to upgrade the chain gun otherwise, because we already have the double chain gun, so if you want a better tank, you can just we can just get that one. Uh, mount it on whatever vehicle you, you desire. And now that that one's a bit more expensive but the price difference isn't really that significant and that doesn't cost you money that only costs you resources well i guess money is a resource you know what i mean like our vehicle parts so i did it nevertheless because you're starting i found it just to be too weak otherwise and you start mostly with wheel and chain gun people here so that's it we also get a second chain uh, chain use the term chain gun too often we're gonna get uh, another secondary objective here we are supposed to go to one of those logistics hubs and purchase four helicopters. We do, that does cost us 600 credits, but I think we get something like 1,000 or 1,500 credits for it. So we're still going to make a, a profit and we're also going to, here we go, we are going to build four of these here. And we're also going to have the helicopters at our disposal, which is otherwise nice. So these guys here are not going to get themselves destroyed, there's just no way they can survive. So yeah, the enemy, so the problem is the enemy starts with a larger army and they have a full working economy, so they're going to build more stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hold out until they don't really run out of resources because they have actually don't have infinite resources, but they have a lot of stuff in their their warehouses. But until they run out of resources in their base, infantry is just going to hide there, and then they can't produce units as quickly as I can destroy them. Hopefully, so our casualty rate is almost five to one here because we we've got the hill and our units are beefy beefed up quite a bit. So the chain gun is now the best weapon I have. Yeah, the, the thing with the research is it, it just feels like it's very unbalanced. You do get more money in later missions, but we are about a third through the game and it's barely worth upgrading anything. Because like if I had upgraded the cannon earlier, then I would probably not be able to complete this mission here because we just have a couple of light and medium tanks, but really only like six or so was a bit unfortunate. So we're gonna have some casualties here, of course, but still, enemy lost like 45 units. Casualty rate is here like seven to one, but it's also because they use infantry and the casualty rate doesn't distinguish between the infantry or vehicles. That is dead and that's, that's all there is. So we do have 
one single base that green has that's in the east so you can make a dash there at one point the one thing you should take into account when you do that you could actually see it when i went to the the logistics depot is that in a group of units the final unit is going to occupy the spot so keep that in mind it's not going to be the first unit and if you don't take that account at the wrong time then the enemy is just going to spam more units and you're not going to be able to to actually occupy whatever building you have, or at least block it, because occupa occupation takes a occupying a structure takes a while. But the most important part is really that you block the enemy from building anything else. And since they only have one base, once that base is blocked, they can't build any new units. They can only utilize what they already have on the map. Yeah, and the now if the depot is fully empty, you can't actually build any transports and sell your own logistics, but you can recycle your own units. And the transport is pretty cheap. Doesn't have a weapon. I think the transport unit only costs a couple of special parts. And since most of these units don't have any special parts, there should be enough special parts in the base anyway. This guy's just still freaking out a little bit. It's gonna stop everyone here. And yeah, but this mission here, if you don't know exactly what it's supposed to do, this is absolutely savage. There's also a time, well, it's not a true time limit, but there is a de facto time limit in the sense that actually that's not true either it's like a you later on get like a they introduce sort of like a time bounty system where uh, your bosses they think too long they, you think you're taking too long for this mission here so offer you like 2000 credits if you complete it quickly but to be honest i have no idea how you're supposed to complete that quickly maybe there's a way if there is uh, i have no idea how and then it's reduced to 1500 and then 500 uh, credits and then you don't get any bonus but that's just how it is. So there's a bunch of guys here. Another problem with this map here is that there is very little space everywhere and a lot of, a lot of spots are not suitable to be transversed by vehicles. So you're going to have to make sure that when a situation like this happens, you actually have enough, enough spots there to, to actually utilize all your vehicles. So you might have superior numbers, but if, if only one of your guys can actually shoot at the enemy, then you're in trouble as well. Here's like factories and stuff. Now that matters, the base matters. That's the one thing that matters. But yeah, there's a city in the south as well. Don't blow up the buildings as usual, but it doesn't really happen unless you deliberately des destroy them or use something like missiles, which you don't have anyway. It's going to destroy this guy here. Boom. And there's also, there's actually four submissions in this, this mission here. And we're going to get to the other ones. We already have completed two. I'm gonna fail the one with the with the with the like quick completion of the mission, but there's a there's a fourth one. We'll get to that. Got more transports here. Uh, still have a decent amount of units left, but most of them are pretty weak. But all we need to do here is, is occupy this complex here, and then we are good to go. Because I don't think the AI has enough units left here to actually do anything about that. And I also have a healthy unit, probably my healthiest unit, occupying that spot. All the transports are gonna come over here as well. While you're occupying a structure, or then, or not while you're occupying, while you're in the process of capturing it, the AI or the whatever enemy you have, I guess, works in multiplayer match, can actually still deliver resources. But to be honest, it doesn't really matter all that much. Here we go. So the base is ours. That changes things a lot. There's a bunch of infantry left here. That doesn't matter. It's like one. You can see this guy here actually struggles to even overcome a single of my guys here. That guy was almost dead, like my my guy, but I barely lost any health. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. So now we get this this next submission here. So the UN wants this to be to be wrapped up quickly. But to be honest, I just have no idea how to do that that quickly. Now, what what we need to do now is we build, need to build a pioneer, set up our economy, build a bridge over that river, and then destroy Red. But Red had a bunch of time to build more guys. So we don't really want to. Want to rush it now because our units are not strong enough and the the bounty here decreases very quickly you have i don't know maybe like 10 to 20 minutes like in-game minutes to do that and yeah so barely anything left uh, not many chassis parts but that's that's fine can't recycle this guy here can't recycle any any unit and then you should be good to build some transports here and we also need to occupy these factories here, but once the, the base is 
is good to go. The, the factories don't really matter because I think the enemy is just going to send everyone they have after you. So at that point, if you if your units are still good around the, the base, then you're probably good. There's also a couple of neutral structures. You've got a logistics depot there and the power plant, which you want to keep as well, even though we don't have a mine. And there's also the radar, but again, I'm not sure you can actually capture the radar from the enemy. Because the radar doesn't have like a capture pad. And I tried to do it with the with Pioneer at one point, but that didn't seem to work. So maybe we could have blown that one up to like blind the enemy, but I'm not actually sure what kind of effect the the radar actually has, or the presence or absence of the radar. In one mission, the radar is like a building you need to, need to destroy, but that doesn't really tie to any specific uh, gameplay function. But yeah, so now that the that we are taking possession of like some factories and setting up stuff. Uh, this is a lot a lot slower now. And yeah, unless you want to fulfill that other bonus objective, but I just have no idea how to how to do that in time. I'm sure it's possible some actually maybe I'm maybe I'm not so sure. Because we had that one, one submission where we were supposed to bring the scientist to the mine. But that mission just failed immediately. In fact that didn't even I think it, it popped up in the submission menu for like a second or two, and then we'd already failed it. I don't know why. I don't know what the deal with that was. It might just be a bug. Like, no no secret behind it. It might just be a bug. Oh, well, we'll see. But yeah, as I said before, Reds in, in the north, you could actually see it during the briefing as well, because there's a... Yes, a, like the green area and the red area, the, the areas the enemy controls are actually marked. Yeah, we also have a new kind of chassis here. We've got the Desert Weasel, which is useful in the desert, but we barely have any desert tiles, so we have some, but I don't think that those are actually worth building, like the uh, in this specific mission here. And I'm not sure they're worth in general because they have some specific terrain advantages, but maybe like just general threats or whatever are, are suitable as well. Then again, we don't even have those, but whatever. The yeah, regarding the main story, there's been a general mobilization, so the was out but they also said that during the briefing that this is like the first quote unquote real battle it certainly feels like one and yeah if you're not prepared for this maybe you can just do this without upgrades with like your basic units but i was unable to do that and it was even quite tricky with those guys because i i did have a number of survivors like maybe 10 units or so like like five to ten units but a lot of those were almost dead so had i run into another like three or four fresh enemy units this may maybe would not have worked out. Yeah, and also had to give this uh, quite a number of attempts. But well, we'll we'll see how the rest of this mission here goes. All right, before we do anything else, we'll have to go on a little bit of a special expedition here. You here? Actually, you know what? You're just gonna stay there. I don't need you for this one here specifically. Let's see, yeah, we've got a house here that's going to be important in the, the near future because we've got another side quest to fulfill here. Let's also get some more chain gun tanks here because that's currently our best vehicle overall. Here we go. We're going to send you over here. You're going to get into position there. Uh, you here will hang out here. There's a reason why we are positioning these, these units here. So I want to. I need to take some some precautions here for the next submission. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attack this building here, which looks like a like an expansion hacienda or so. They actually do have buildings that do somewhat fit the the environment. Even, well, at least to a certain degree. This looks like vaguely vaguely futuristic, but never mind. So let's just blow you up. Or actually, let's not do that. Let's just attack the structure here. Not destroy it in its entirety. There we go. So now, the heir to like a local farm here. Terrified because we just attack this home so what we're going to do is we're going to let this guy here dig out his family treasure and then we're going to get the treasure 
So the reason why I position these units here is because Orange here, a faction we haven't even seen yet, they will send these guys after after the boy. And if the boy dies, we don't get the money. So the thing is also, there we go, that town health bus here. If the guy gets interrupted in any way, then you also don't get the reward. So if you block off the road for too long or so, then you're also not going to get the reward, which is a bit unfortunate. But that's how it is. So you need to take very specific precautions here. But the good thing with that that quest is that... Yeah, there we go. So whatever. Uh, I'm not going to do that in, in that amount of time. That you can trigger it whenever you like. So there's no, no time limit on that one. We actually have a light tank in here still. Sure. Didn't remember that, but sure. Also get some more chain gun tanks here. We can get a lot of these. Yeah. Depot is busy, but that's fine. Just come over here. And then let's produce a bunch more of you here. No more space in the depot, that's fine too. Come over here as well. Did we actually send our... Didn't send our Pioneer over there, so we're going to do that too. Because you're going to be needed there. In fact, maybe we want a second one over there just in case. So... Tiny Pioneer is coming out of this, this factory here. I always like that because... They're so tiny compared to the vehicles. I guess their their size is is actually somewhat realistic, but yeah, they're just small, and you can just see them if they if they appear in like a swarm. But at the same time, you also need to use them in a swarm, otherwise they they don't do anything. Which, to be fair, is also true for vehicles in a certain degree because they also. They kind of die quickly. So no, there are no units that are like really specifically that durable at this stage here, and I'm not sure even with the letter chassis you're gonna get that. But anyway, let's get my vehicles into position here, and let's see that prepare for the storm because what's gonna happen here, obviously, is that I'm gonna build a bridge. And then Red has access to our lands and they're going to come with everything they have. And everything is going to be a fair amount of units. So we're going to a nice army here so we can prevent them from overrunning us straight away. Let's see, you can build a couple more of you here. But now we are running kind of low on resources here. We, we can still wait to get have a couple more coming in, but now production has slowed a little bit. Here we go, you come over here. So you're gonna be my replacement engineer. Because building the bridge here is gonna consume this guy. Should, yeah, there we go. Should be possible here. So if we, if we lose the bridge, because you can destroy the bridges. Yeah, there you go. So now they're gonna come and try to get through here. So we're just gonna wait until the, the flow of units goes down a little bit, at least. Which is not the case right now, and we're not going to get too close to the bridge because otherwise the chances of the bridge blowing up are too high. Maybe position you here, I don't want anybody to slip through so, and then I have to hunt them down, that would just be annoying. There we go. Yep, no, they're still coming. Yes. Still going strong. All the infantry is dead, as expected. Yep, red's still there. Is that it? We'll find out now. You cross the bridge here, even if not. Let's go come over here. Yeah, you may as well blow that guy up, because why not? But since there's a non-zero chance they actually are completely out of resources, which would be great. So here's their base, let's take that over first. They can... 
any one of you please take over the actual base? No? Okay. Can you... Is it the... That's, I think it's, it might be the invisible tile bug again. Occasionally you can't capture a base because... Yeah, you, you can see I can't, can't access this tile here. Which is a major issue. Let's go for manual control. Oof. Uh, no, I can't. This tile here is blocked off. That is such a bad bug. Because this time it doesn't really matter because I can just destroy everything they have and then win the mission anyway. But imagine this happens like half an hour into a mission where you want to take over a base. And then that doesn't work out because because of this glitch. Oof. That is that is really bad. Okay, you take over these people. So I think yeah, I can take those over at least. Yeah, you just blow up the base. Not the most elegant way of finishing this mission here, but you know what? I don't really care. Just destroy it and be done with it. Yep, still going strong. Here, okay, you stopped taking that over for some reason. That's that's cool too. Do it now, please. Stop taking over that as well. I guess other units got in your way. There we go. Yeah, so the actual goal here is just to take or destroy both enemy bases. That's actually a pretty decent explosion. I'm not sure why they tell you to like weaken the enemy. Just tell me, uh, capture, destroy all enemy bases, please. But anyway, we did three out of four, inter uh, almost called some under missions, which that would be the literal translation, like submissions or side missions, or I guess sec secondary missions. Uh, the, 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 the other one was finishing the, the mission quickly, even just for the 1,000 or 500 like dollar reward there. I'm sure it's possible somehow, but if you don't have a lot of units already, Red's gonna overrun you, so I'm not sure that's worth it. But maybe if you just do the initial part of the mission faster, then you can do that. But I just have no idea how to do that. Maybe if you micro really well, then you can pull it off. Also casualties, three to one, not bad. Yeah, uh, this was uh, quite a spike in difficulty. We'll see how things go next time. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you then.